good afternoon everyone uh, and welcome to this session on intellectual property rights uh, as you all know that we are all well conversant with the property and the important feature with regard to the property is that the owner can use it according to his or her own wish and within the limits of the law and he or she can allow the other person to use it due to his authorization so same way our intellectual property is given the right the property can be categorized into uh, three parts generally as known to us one is movable property another is immovable property and third is the intellectual property you might be knowing about the movable and immovable property very commonly being used in our day to day life movable property mainly consists of objects like car or camera where the owner has exclusive rights to use it and he can authorize the other person to use it also in immovable property we have generally land and building and they are the fixed assets and the third type of property is the intellectual property it is basically a creation of the human mind and human intellect it is an asset and just like other properties it can be uh, bought sold mortgaged licensed exchanged or it can be given away it is also a source of national wealth and it is a mark of economic leadership in context of global marketing scenario by acquiring the legal right over property the creator of intellectual property seeks to ensure that he or she has exclusive right over it and it can be used by others only after his or her consent so types of property can also be categorized as tangible like house or furniture or land or intangible like in the form of shares bonds debentures intellectual property etc now what is intellectual property it is a creation of mind and we require it to protect it from infringement that is where the intellectual property rights come into view intellectual property it refers to creation of the mind which includes inventions literary and artistic works designs and symbols names and images used in commerce it is basically new ideas or new technology or new products and it is evolu evolution of knowledge and we know the importance of it in today's dynamic and knowledge based industrial environment ipr use the key elements which are needed to maintain the competitive edge of any industry it provides incentives to the inventors for further research and investment in research and development activities for economic growth and for social benefit it helps in discouraging the piracy and counterfeiting and the example of benefit of intellectual property rights are the multi billion dollar industries like film industry publishing industry and software industry now the types of uh, intellectual property are it is uh, these intellectual property can be broadly classified into two work one is industrial property another is copyrights now industrial property it includes patent which protects the inventions or innovations trademarks which protects the identifier basically uh, it is it helps the consumer to identify and purchase the products based on its characteristics and quality to meet their demands so it uh, it helps in identifying the certain goods or services provided by industry or company like you are familiar with the kodak which is uh, used for the photography related material apple for the computers and so on then another in uh, intellectual pri property it is industrial design this covers the aesthetic aspect of the article it may be of the three dimensional in nature like the shape or surface or it can be of two dimensional in nature including the lines color or patterns so it is uh, basically with respect to appealing and attraction with regard to a particular product 
and it increases the marketability. So this is also protected under intellectual property rights. Then the another aspect related to intellectual property is geographical indication, which protects the locality. Because you see certain goods are associated with specific geographical origin and the process, it possesses the qualities or a reputation due to the place of its origin. Like the agricultural products, they have qualities that are derived from their place of production and they are influenced by specific local geographical factors like soil and climate. Example is Darjeeling tea. And it is also uh, covered with respect to human factors. That is the manufacturing skills and traditions of a particular geographical location. For example, Swiss watches, they are famous because of the Switzerland. Then we have Kanjivaram silk or Masur silk and so on. Then copyright, it is basically covers the literary and artistic creation creations and it protects the authorship or artistry. Intellectual property is, is protected by a law. For example, these are in the form of patents, copyright and trademarks and it enables the people to earn recognition or financial benefit from what they invent, innovate or they create. A trade secret is information that derives value from not being readily acceptable by others and it is subject of efforts reasonable under circumstances to maintain its secrecy and the term can be forever so long that the above criteria are met and the trade secret is kept secret. Now what exactly is patent? governmental grant of exclusive monopoly rights for a limited period of time. You see, a patent is granted for 20 years from the date of filing of the patent so that it excludes others from making, using, selling, distributing or importing the invention. And the purpose of granting the patent is to foster technology. Inventor teaches technology publicly via patent because once the patent is filed, then, and it is granted, it is available in the public domain, so that the person who has the knowledge in that particular field, the technical field, he can uh, easily use that particular knowledge for the same purpose. And it, it, it is very much required in our day-to-day -day research activities also, like when a person is pursuing research in the maybe for PhD and so it is very much required that we search for the literature as well as for the patent database. Now for uh, the inventor he gets the monopoly for 20 years and once the patent expires so the protection ends and the patent invention it enters the public domain and uh, it is claimed in words. And this is a very common example of patent which we come across our daily life is in the area of electric lighting by Edison, sewing machine by Ho and Singer, iPhone is by Apple, and magnetic resonant imaging by Damadian. So it helps in promoting further research and creativity and innovation. Now the next question which arises in our mind is that are the uh, we can globally patent our innovation. It is not so. It is restricted to a particular territory or nation. So it is a domestic right to grant the patent for an innovation. And the patenting systems, it includes that for we have to file our patent. Although the research may be going on simultaneously or invention may be work may be being carried out at across the various places in the world but the patent is granted to those in that or those person or those creator or inventor the person who is first to file the patent for the innovation so it is very much important and the patents are granted by the national patent office and uh, these patent documents are published in more than 100 countries and particularly in all fields of science and technologies. And there are more than 2 million of patents being patented, 
patented every year and these are patents are in you can see in various languages including english german spanish chinese french etc and uh, the patent varies from various products it may be so, so, uh, very sophisticated equipment like our supersonic airplanes or it can be simple also like in the form of chairs or spades etc so uh, to conclude the patent rights they are exclusive rights which are which are granted by a by a country and the owner of invention can make use manufacture and market exclusively it is based on a particular territory it is for the limited period of time of 20 years it can be used or exploited and which uh, it may be affected by other laws in that particular nation it is treated as a property which can be gifted inherited assigned sold or licensed and it can be reco re revocable so these are the various features re related to patent now what exactly can be patented patented we should be clear about that the invention can be patented and what is invention it is a new product or process involving inventive step and capable of industrial application so the thing is that the innovation should be new and novel and it can be uh, applicable in various areas of our life like one of the patented invention is velcro now what happened the scientist a swiss, a swiss based electrical engineer he, in 1941 he was walking in the forest and he noted that birds <coughs> clinged to his trouser as well as to his dog as you can see in the picture and he thought about why to not to turn it to something useful so he used this type of technique for inventing velcro which is having two components one is a fabric strip with tiny hooks that could be attached with another fabric strip with smaller loops and it can be attached temporarily unless it is pulled apart and the inventor was george d me mestrel so he invented touch fastener and the various products associated with the velcro industry is velcro sew on velcro coins velcro ties self adhesives and consumer range and this products are applicable and they are useful to array of industries like consumer packaged goods apparel agriculture military and so on and this was uh, this particular product was patented in the year 1955 another uh, uh, invention which is very much useful in our day to day life is post its now it was invented and patented by 3m corporation and it is uh, also known as post it notes which we use in almost daily in our daily life in our, for our office work or education work so uh, basically it is a piece of paper with the adhesive applied to it and that uh, this had adhesive was also a 3m invention but the true innovation is that to add the adhesive strip to a piece of yellow paper so it helps to become a paper book marker and which can stick to the paper or anything and it is very simple useful invention initially it was built up in yellow color but now we have variety of colors in this particular product and um, it is a very simple but it is very useful invention so it was also patented and the patent expired in 1990s and till till then 3m com company was the sole manufacturer of this profitable invention another uh, technology or invention which is very much uh, you are aware of that is the nano car from the tata motors and they have filed about 40 patent applications on the single product that is nano car now what is pat patentable so it is an invention which means a new product or process involving involving inventive step and capable of industrial application and the invention must relates to process or product or both it should be new that is novel it involves an inventive step it should be capable of industrial application 
and it should not fall under certain categories under section 3 and 4. So the new and one another thing is that this new invention, it should not uh, be there in the public domain before filing the patent. It should not be published before filing date in any document in any country. And it should not be a part of knowledge, oral or otherwise available in any local or indigenous community. So this is very much important because once you file your patent application, then it is examined that this particular invention is not available in any public domain in form of any paper or white paper or whatever, maybe in the newspaper or other uh, categories related to publication. So inventive step involves the technical advance as well as the economic significance as you have seen in the earlier examples. And another important aspect related to the innovation is the, that it should be industrially applicable. It should have capability to be manufactured or used in the industry. Now let us see what are the things which cannot be patented under section three and four of our country. Section 3A is frivolous or claiming anything contrary to well-established natural laws. Example is when we say that machine that gives more than 100% performance. So such type of, type of claim is non-patentable. Then it should not uh, be contrary to public order or morality, like device for housebreaking. This is also not patentable. Then commercial exploitation or primary use of invention, which causes serious prejudice to health, or human and animal plant life or to the environment. Example is biological warfare material or device or weapons of mass destruction. Another uh, things that are not, uh, or innovations that are not uh, patentable are the discovery, like mere discovery of a scientific principle or formulation of an abstract theory or discovery of any living thing or discovery of non-living substance occurring in nature. Examples are like Newton's law, superconducting phenomena, property of certain materials to withstand mechanical shock, discovery of microorganisms, or discovery of natural gas or a mineral. The patents are also excluded on naturally occurring microorganisms, like uh, but genetically modified microorganisms are patentable. The mere discovery of a new form of a new substance, which does not result in the enhancement of the known efficacy of that substance. That is also not patentable. And the purpose of this clause is that salts, esters, ethers, polymorphs, metabolites, pure form, particle size, isomers, mixture of isomers, complexes, combinations, and other derivatives of known substance shall be considered to be safe substance unless they differ significantly in properties with regard to efficacy. Another is that uh, these often uh, derivatives, as I have uh, earlier talked about, like salts, esters, and ethers, etc., the combination and derivatives of the known substance with enhanced eff efficacy, however, they are patentable. Mere discovery of any new property or new use of a no, for a known substance or of the mere use of, of a known process, machine or apparatus, unless such known process results in a new product or employs at least one new reactant. An example is new use of aspirin for heart ailment. This is also not patentable. And mere new uses of neem, they are also not patentable. Another thing which is not another invention you can say or maybe the work done in the area of admixture that is also uh, not uh, patentable. Like the substances obtained by mere mixture or admixture resulting only in the aggregation of the properties of the components thereof or a process of, for producing such substances. Example includes combiflam, which is a mixture of paracetamol and brufen and the solution of sugar and color additives in water to form the soft drink. However, a mixture resulting into synergistic properties of mixture of ingredients, however, may be patentable like soap, detergents, or lubricants. And the substance obtained by mere admixtures resulting only in the aggregation of properties of the components thereof 
or a process for producing such substances, they are not patentable. Then another thing which, does, uh, which cannot be patentable is rearrangement. That is mere rearrangement or arrangement or duplication of known devices, each functioning independently of one another in a known way. Example is a bucket filled with torch or when we have umbrella which is fitted with the fan or a clock and radio in a single cabinet. So such type of rearrangement is also not patentable. Another is method of agriculture or horticulture. Example is cultivation of algae. But agriculture equipments which are new and novel, they can be patented. Another, uh, under section 3i, the other uh, the process for medicinal, surgical, curative, prophylactic, diagnostic, therapeutic, or other treatment of human beings, or a similar treatment of animals to render them free of diseases or to increase their economic value or that of their products are also not patentable. For example, removal of cancer tumor, removal of dental plaque and caries, surgical processes, processes related to therapy, method of vaccination and blood transfusion. However, the surgical, therapeutic or diagnostic apparatus or instruments, they are patentable. Then uh, the plants and animals in whole or any part thereof other than microorganisms, but including seeds, varieties and species and essentially biological process for production or propagation of plants and animals. They are also not patentable. And, we, uh, and the patents are also excluded on the plants and animals in whole or any parts thereof. And examples are clones and new varieties of plants, a process for production of plants or animals if it consists entirely of natural phenomena such as crossing or selection, it is essentially a biological process. Then mathematical method or business method or algorithms or computer programs as such they are also not patentable. Like computer program, it can come under copyright, but it cannot be patented. However, new calculating machine, combination of hardware and software is patentable. Then a literary, dramatic, musical, or artistic work, or any other aesthetic creation, including cinematographic work and television production. So this is also not patentable, but they can be covered under copyright protection. A mere scheme or rule or method of performing mental act or method of playing game. It is also not patentable. Like scheme for learning a language, method for solving crossword puzzle, method of learning a language, method of teaching and learning. However, the novel apparatus for playing game or carrying out a scheme is patentable. Then presentation of information is also not patentable. Like any manner or method for expressing information by spoken words or by visual display or by symbols or through diagrams. Then topography of integrated circuits like mask works and circuits layout, they are also not patentable. Then inventions which are traditional knowledge or an aggregation or duplication of known properties of traditionally known component or components. Examples are traditional knowledge which is already in the public domain, like wound healing property of Haldi. However, any value addition using traditional knowledge leading to a new process or product which is novel with inventive step and industrial applicability is patentable. For example, extraction of azadiracetin from neem, it can be patented. Another non-patentable invention is falling within section 21 of Atomic Energy Act 1962, which is damaging the humans or other living organisms, right? So they are also not patentable. Now, uh, the main aspect of the uh, our patent is unity of invention. In one patent application, we have one invention which can be patented or a group of closely related inventions so as to form a single invention. Example is claim for product and processes adopted to manufacture the said product. 
and claim for processes and operators or means specifically designed to carry out the particular process. Now, what are the various um, parameters which related to the patent application drafting? Uh, the first and important, uh, most important is the identification of novelty of the research work. For that, the researcher has to identify and search for patents or technologies in the similar field, right? Because only then his invention will be new or novel if similar type of invention is not already existing in the database. And the database search can be done through these web websites like www.uspto.org or www.ipindia.nic.in or through google.com patents or freepatentsonline.com. So these are certain websites which can be referred before going in for patenting your uh, or filing your invention. <coughs> so uh, we need to conduct the prior art research. That is what is whatever is existing with respect to particular technical field and with respect to our invention in that particular area. So as to validate the research and identify how far the technology has reached. What is the existing technologies available in the particular field? Find out whether or not intentionally or unintentionally our research work is infringing others. The claim should not be similar, right? Otherwise, it, it is revocable. It should save time wasted in repetitive research. Now, the types of patent applications, it can be domestic application, which is applicable to a particular nation. It, in, in India, we have ordinary application, patent of edition, and divisional application. In international filing, we have conventional application and application under PCT. Now, relevance of novelty search in the patent database is very important. There is World Intellectual Property Organization. It is a global forum for intellectual property services, policy, information, and cooperation. Its headquarters is in uh, Geneva, Switzerland, and it was established in 1970 under United Nations. So it, this, their research report states that 80% of the relevant research database is available in the patent database. And the online database can be accessed through patent scope. The ordinary patent application has uh, consists of provisional specification, which is validity is 12 months, and then complete specification. The patent of edition is improvement or modification in main invention already applied for patent or invention subject to independent patent. If original application is revoked, then patentee can request to treat patent of edition as independent patent. Then there is a divisional application where one patent can claim only one invention before the grant of patent if desired by patentee or to remedy objection raised by controller. Then complete specification shall not contain matter not in substance disclosed in the first application. So this application is valid when all these conditions are existing. Then conventional application, it can be filed within 12 months directly in any conventional country. Now the application under international, uh, this is for international patent system. We have patent uh, cooperation treaty, which was held in, under Paris convention. Here what happens is once after filing the a patent application in your own uh, nation or territory, then within 12 months, you can apply for international patent. Here under uh, PCT, that is Patent Cooperation Treaty, it is uh, there are around 151 member countries, and it is possible to seek the patent protection for invention formulate simultaneously in number of countries by filing a single uh, national patient, uh, international patent application instead of filing several patent applications in different countries respectively. That is the advantage of this uh, particular PCT system. And uh, we have to fill certain form at our national uh, patent office. 
and uh, this is uh, administered by word intellectual property organization which is at geneva and this once we file the application it is uh, then preliminary examination is carried out by international searching authority and based on that the reports are generated and the opinion is being uh, given out by international searching authorities and now after that then the person has to apply for the particular uh, nation in which the, the inventor wants to have the patent then we has to pay the extra fee and other but it is the prerogative of that particular particular nation whether to provide the patent or not it is it doesn't uh, means that once the under pct the the international searching authority gives the positive or favorable comments it is not necessary that a particular nation will provide the patent it depends upon that particular authority now uh, for the biological matters if there are new biological matters like microorganism which is uh, which are disclosed in the patent application then such materials they are required to be deposited in any of the international depository authorities which are recognized under the budapest treaty on or before filing of the application and in india we have microbial type of culture collection and gene bank in chandigarh then uh, another important thing is the uh, regarding the document features that is the language in which we can file our patent in our country that can either be in hindi language or in english and the paper used should be a4 that is 29.7 by 21 cm and the margin should be at least 4 cm on the top and left hand and 3 cm on the bottom and right hand now the another important feature uh, uh a condition which we should uh, see when applying filing for our patent is that it should be on the single side the typing should be on the single side right and it should be signed by the uh, person by the inventor or the applicant main applicant now there are certain forms which which are uh, required to fill up for filing up the patent form 1 is there which is application of patent and applicant inventor these forms can be downloaded from our website that is ipindia.ac.in and ic.in sorry and in the form 2 we have complete specification or complete description regarding the novelty and regarding the product or the process and there are various sections under which uh, we have to uh, which which are required to be filled up and completed one is the title another is the technical field then prior art prior art is what is the existing technology already available in the particular area of uh, technology what is the object you can say what is the main objective uh, which or the purpose of the our invention what needs it particularly uh, fills up which is uh, which are proven in our society then statement brief description of drawings here drawings uh, it need not be very in technically uh, intricate it can be simple block diagrams or line diagrams which can be used uh, but the components it has to be specified clearly in the explanation where detailed description of uh, our invention is mentioned so all the components or all the various important parts which are related to our invention need to be uh, written up clearly their functioning their working principle it has to be mentioned then best method of performance claims that is very important claims part is the most important uh, one of the most important part of our uh, uh, this patent because it uh, because any infringement if occurs for our patent first our claims are looked into then abstract and then figures now uh, the specification include the pro uh, provisional specification that is the precise information of invention it is valid for 12 months and there are no claims basically what happens is once we think or we decide that we want to uh, this is our new invention and we want to file it because as i have discussed earlier suppose we are filing the patent simultaneously the work of uh, the researchers are going on or inventors are going on worldwide the person who files the patent first will will be granted the patent right so it is very much required very much uh, essential to be aware of what is happening around and till date what uh, what is there existing in the world in field of technical area so uh, what happens is sometimes we know that we are going to get a very positive and favorable results but exactly experimentation full experimentation may be going on the trials may be going on in that particular case then we can file the 
with this provisional specification and it is necessary that within 12 months we have to file again the complete specifications which includes the complete information of invention it shall not include any information which cannot be derived from provisional specification that is it should be the body of the knowledge should lie bet uh, in uh, between the framework which we have already filed in our provisional specification form and it will include claims of a final uh, application then another important thing is, is the sufficient disclosure right it should enable the person possessing every skill in the art to work the invention without insistence of the patentee that is anyone who has the knowledge in that particular field can easily work or produce that type of product independently without taking any technical assistance from anybody that much knowledge should be there in the public domain when we apply for the patent then uh, there are certain requirements with regard to the title of our invention for intellectual property right for filing the patent we have to disclose the specific feature of invention in not more than 15 words it can be product patent or process or improved process product and process for preparation thereof product process for the preparation of product and the process method of using the product then it should also highlight the technical field of invention like present invention relates to that particular field we have to indicate that then what is the existing technologies or already available in that particular field that is covered under the prior art like technologies available in the market and then we have to highlight the disadvantages or the limitations in the existing technology so that to indicate what are the advantages of present invention over the existing technology we have to justify that our invention is better than the technologies which are already available in the market by highlighting the the strength of our technology with regard to meeting the limitations or disadvantages which are present in the market at that particular time then we have to uh, express the object like it has is generally the language uses used and this is the main object of the present innovation is to provide a novel compound if it is related to a novel product then uh, we also say can write it like another object of the present invention is to provide a process for the preparation of the product it is related to the process yet another object is to provide process wherein we can highlight the inventive step the object is not just limited to the one sentence it can it is further added by adding the value the uh, the word yet another like yet another object is to provide the process wherein we can highlight the advantages of the present invention yet another object is to provide a, we can highlight the use or application of the invention if it relates to a novel product then uh, the statement is written in a form where we can uh, generally it is written like according to the present invention provides a particular product process or use of product which comprises here we write all critical experiment experimental steps that lead to an invention then we also add that in an embodiment of the present invention here we write that the depending experimental steps material used range of experimental parameters used like temperature pressure time period etc in yet another embodiment we write subsequent depending upon the experimental steps or parameters then brief description of drawings now here we specify a brief description of all the relevant drawing which is made with reference to the invention and disclosed in the description part then we uh, provide information in the form of detailed description it contain detailed disclosure of method of making and using of the invention if it is a product or of making and using the product of the invention if it is a process for preparing a product then best method of performance it must provide the way of obtaining the product or carrying the reaction by way of example then we there is a uh, abstract which has to be written it is a brief summary of the invention and it shall indicate technical field of invention 
problem to which invention address and solution to the problem. And generally, it should not be more than 150 words. Then there are technical uh, drawings which are added to our patent, which are prepared on the A4 sheet with clear margins of at least four centimeter at the top and left hand at three centimeter on the bottom and right hand. And in the left top corner, there is a name of applicant. And on the right hand corner, the number of sheets of drawings and consecutive number of sheets. For example, we have five supposed sheet with related to the drawings of the particular invention. Then we have to write one by five to first sheet, then two by five to second sheet and so on till five by five. And then on the right bottom corner, signature of the applicants are required. Then uh, the, there can be the requirement of the model of a particular invention, but it, it is required to be furnished only if it is required by the controller. Now, very important parts of our patent application are claims. Because the claims, it determines the patentability and the scope of our uh, claimed invention. So uh, claims, they are the complete specification and it should end with a statement of claims defining the scope of protection. So it has to be thought about in a very deep way and it has to be worded very rightly. It is very much required when you write on the claim. It is a statement of technical fact which is expressed in the legal terms and we should try to cover all the aspects related to the application or usability of our invention in claims. Right? And, uh, and we should also see that we are not infringing on the claims which are already mean, being made by the earlier inventors by, uh, by looking deeply in all the patents which have been granted in similar types of claims. That the claim should define the process, composition, substance, device, and not their advantages or uses. The first claim is a principal claim, which is called as an independent claim, and all other subsequent claims are dependent on the first claim. However, there can be more than one independent claim in a single specification, depending upon the type of uh, or nature of the invention. Then uh, claims should be in the single sentence. No monopoly is obtained on matter described in complete specification unless it is a claimed claim. Spe statement of claim shall be preceded by preamble I or V claim. We have to write when we write the claims. It shall relate to a single invention or group of invention relate to form a single invention. There must be at least one claim in a patent and reasoning is that possible infringers might be able to understand what is and is not protected based on the claims. Now there are certain tips for drafting the claims. We have to uh, see certain areas and we have to think about it before we uh, write on our claims. You see, uh, the ideally infringement uh, could be established based on the public literature, that is press releases, data sheets, articles or studies, white papers or application notes. So we should be very much uh, alert that we should not publish our work before filing the patent. Remember, an opposition, uh, opposing party's marketing literature can hurt your business or even before the accused product is generally available. So we should be very much alert. If a potential infringing product must be reverse engineered, what are the costs or obstacles involved? If the schema schematic can be easily created, then describe the components and their interrelations. If reverse engineering is costly and difficult, such as for the semiconductor device, then we have to ask ourselves that can I claim a, uh, a claim, that can I craft a claim that can be validated by current testing methodologies? Are certain tests easier or more reliable? Can I craft a claim based on outputs generated in response to the certain inputs? So we have to ask ourselves that, assuming that this patent will be someone else, what will I do? Let us figure out the possible solution and patent them too. Just because, and one thing more is when you are granted patent, it is not necessarily that all your claims will be granted uh, patent, right? So it, if one of your claims are objected, it doesn't mean that the rest of your claims are also invalid. Each claims is evaluated on its own merit. 
that this is why it is important to make claims on all aspects of your invention to ensure that you receive the most protection possible. Now, criteria for drafting claims is they have to be clear. That is, your claim must be clear so that you do not cause the reader to speculate about the claim. That is, they the reader should not get confused that what is the exact meaning of the claim statement. These because such words, it makes the reader to make a subjective judgment and we require the objective observation. Then the claim should be complete so that it covers the inventive feature and enough elements around it to put the invention in the proper context. It should be well supported by the description. This means that all the characteristics of your invention that form parts of claim must be fully explained in the description. In addition, any terms you use in the claims must be either found in the description or clearly inferred from the description. Then there are various parts of claim. One is preamble, the introductory phrase, the body of the claim and transitional phase that links the two. Now the preamble is an introductory statement that names the invention that is to be claimed. It helps to identify the category of the invention and sometimes the purpose of the invention. For example, the preamble includes a machine for waxing paper or a composition for fertilizing soil. In transitional phrase, it describes how the body of the claim relates to the introductory phase. For example, we use the elements like which comprises of, which includes uh, or consists of, or consists essentially of such uh, particular uh, components. Then the body. The body of claim, it lists the element or steps of the named invention. Then there are two types of claim. One is independent claims, another are dependent claims. The independent claim, it is a primary claim which stands on its own. And normally we have one independent claim in one <coughs> patent applications. Independent claims are typically written with very broad terms to avoid permitting competitors to circumvent the claim by altering some aspect of the basic design. Dependent claim depends upon the single claim or multiple claims and they are generally express uh, expresses particular embodiment or different features or parts of invention in general there is really one reason to have a dependent claim that independent uh, for example your independent claim might not be found invalid right by the patent office and one possible exception expanding damages based by including additional components Some of the dependent claims are not required to be written uh, unnecessarily. For example, uh, we write uh, the independent claim, like in a motor vehicle, it is a combination of A, B, C parts and the structure of claim one, wherein the set torque transmitting system comprises a clutch and so on. The things which are apparent need not be right, written in the claim statement. When uh, considering dependent claims, assume a judge or jury has already decided that your independent claim is invalid. Therefore, we add dependent claims that drill down into the point of novelty of your invention from different directions. Now, th uh, these are the various type of claims, like one is composition of metal claims. It lists the constituents of a new material as well as the amount of each constituent if applicable. Then apparatus or device claims, like apparatus, uh, which claims to an apparatus or device. Method or process claims, which describes a novel method or process used to achieve a particular goal. And product by process claims, where a product is defined by the method used to manufacture it. Then there are late claiming also to introduce new claims at various times throughout the pendency of application, as long as the subject matter of the new claims was disclosed in the specific, uh, specification as filed. Then uh, we have to see whether the claims which we are uh, writing are they practical. Like uh, we have to see, uh, we have to do the patent and literature research so that uh, we should be able to identify whether someone else may own the rights to the similar idea or the key aspects related to it. And it should be related to the proven need in the society that the invention will satisfy. And we should know our potential market. 
the potential application in different fields in the business and we should keep another important aspect is that we should keep reliable research records which can be used to show prior creation or for suing the purpose for example if other person is also uh, has also filed the patent and you are also done the work then you can just show your records of the research records to show that you have the done the work prior to the uh, filing of the application by the other inventor so it is very much required for ip licensing or for uh, other payments and then another is form 3 it is a statement and undertaking under section 8 then form 5 is declaration of inventorship in case when provisional specification is followed by a complete specification and for online filing of patent application then there is a form 9 for early publication then form 18 is very much important request for examination this has to be filled in within some particular duration of time after filling your first patent uh, filing for the uh, your invention because based on this application your uh, patent uh, area will be examined from the patent office and thereafter the patent can be granted then form 26 is required if you are having a patent agent or any other person in a matter or proceeding under the act then uh, the number of pages and number of claims there is no such limit uh, for uh, for writing down uh, the your patent in uh, by the number of pages like uh, but there is a certain additional fee which has to be paid like for more than 30 pages around rupees 100 is the per page is the additional fee which we have to pay and for more than 10 claims again we have paid to pay extra per claim then uh, there are certain misconception with related to patentability one is that inventor needs to make a prototype before he prepares the patent application so this is not required right uh, then uh, another mistakes premature disclosure that is generally being sometimes being done by the inventors that is describing the invention in a publication or public presentation offering the invention for sale disclosing the invention without confidentiality agreement in place often to the potential investors so this should be taken care of then very much the uh, required is the full disclosure once you apply for the patent that is the inventors is required to disclose sufficient information so that when the monopoly period expires others can practice the invention for example after 20 years of filing the patent when the person is granted patent then this technical knowledge is open in the public domain and they can use it as per the requirement and then it should also disclose the best method of performance so the recommended strategies for filing the patent are that the claims are the most important parts as it relates to the claims of invention defining your scope of innovation so we should choose the broadest possible without infringing on the prior art claims should be worded properly and must be related to the inventive step only and it includes all the people in inventor who has cont uh, have contributed intellectually when you write the invent inventors then one more than one inventors are can be added depending upon the their contribution so to aid this process always keep factual clear and accurate record of daily work in a diary diary or a logbook and such entries should be signed both by scientists and the project manager now another important uh, part of the intellectual property right is copyright it is basically uh, related to the literary and artistic work you know that in our latest classrooms we have a lot of access to resources through digital technology and real life publishing and the issues are that it should be appropriately used and uh, it should be fair use and uh, it should be related to the intellectual property so copyright copyright is a protection that covers published and unpublished literary scientific and artistic works whatever the form of expression provided such works are fixed in a tangible or material form this means that if you can he see it hear it or touch it it is protected like uh, your poems like your drawings software 
then plays films all advertisements all such things come under copyright then the fair use the four factor is uh, the four factors are the purpose and character of the use including whether such use is of commercial nature or for non profit educational purpose then the nature of copyrighted work the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole the effect of the use upon potential market for or the value of the copyrighted work we have international copyright protection it, we need not file for our or register for our copyright it is just voluntary and if the work should be original that is required it uh, the copyright protection rules are fairly similar worldwide due to several international copyright treaties and the most important is the bern convention under this treaty all the member countries including virtually all industrialized nations they must afford copyright protection to authors who are nationals of any member country and it last for the life of the author plus 50 years that is the tenure of copyright and it must be automatic and it is automatic without the need for the author to take any legal steps to preserve the copyright now in in, in addition to the bern convention there is general agreement on tariffs and trade treaty which contains number of provisions that affect copyright protection uh, protection in signatory countries so uh, what we should uh, look is that we should limit the use of copyrighted materials in our classroom and we should give the proper credit to the uh, creator of the literary work or artistic work and when in doubt suppose um, uh, we can get the permission from the particular creator also and whatever we uh, see in the books or in, uh, any other at any other places like internet uh, we can get the information on internet we should assume that it's copyrighted so we should quote it properly so we should avoid the plagiarism and uh, we should uh, take the notes we should use quotes as maybe earlier shimi uh, ma'am might have told you that you can uh, use the same statement of a particular scientist or researcher but you have to write in quoted form and you should have to indicate the name of the researcher in your references then paraphrasing and summarizing in your own words can be used the particular uh, this written material by the researcher and you should also name the researcher then we should make if we want to do some fresh assignments we should always record it through diaries and journal and we should have a investigative reporting system now copyright uh, requirement is that it should be original right how much labor and how much diligence it took to uh, create the work and uh, a copyright protection could only be granted to works of authorship that possess at least some minimal degree of creativity some obvious method of compilation and computation like yellow pages or blank forms they cannot receive copyright but sufficiently original elements within the work itself can still be eligible for protection now what other works are under copyright there are literary works like books pamphlet poems articles <laughs> computer programs tables and compilation letters dramatic works uh, like recitation choreographic work dumb show acting scenic arrangement musical works are under copyright artistic work like painting sculpture drawing diagram cartoon plan architectural plan chart or map it also is covered by copyright our artistic works cinematography uh, graphic works like films etc they are also under copyright now the, the copyright or for intellect uh, for patent we can uh, approach the patent offices uh, depending upon the territorial jurisdiction in our country one of the um, patent offices is in mumbai and the uh, the persons who are living in the states of maharashtra the inventors from these particular states that is the from maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh goa and chatisgarh and union territories of daman and diu and dadra and nagar haveli they can approach mumbai office for filing their patent then there is the intellectual property office in chennai it covers the state of uh, andhra pradesh karnataka kerala tamil nadu and union territories of pondicherry and lakshadweep and telangana at new delhi patent office 
the territories covered are states of haryana himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir punjab rajasthan uttar pradesh uttarakhand delhi and union territory of chandigarh and in calcutta and kolkata which is headquarters of our intellectual property right office the rest of india is covered so uh, we can see the uh, fees details for applying or filing of the patents from ipindia.nic.in or we can also download the forms related to filing of our patents from this uh, particular website also and international application must select a pct international application and file the patent application in individual countries before the international filing dates and these are some of the uh, important references and websites which have been referred for this presentation including others like manual of patent office practices and procedure then various patent officers and controller general of patent design and trademarks from even wipro also that is world intellectual property organization their website was also referred and indian patent patent database and patent search so thank you so much for your patient listening to this particular session so now the house is open for question answer session